hey guys hey guys everyone welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in very very welcome so yeah if you're new here guys my name is barbara and welcome to pdl barbara's entertainment uh as today we are going to do our video while lying on bed because guys like i'm not feeling well i've got a very very ho horrible horrible headache as you know good girl is always suffering from those so i am quite lazy and tired and of course like you know I've got this uh this thing that is bothering me so much but I, I wanted to do this one video okay I wanted to do this one video usually I, I, I record in bulk and I make sure that I record two three videos but I can't because it's like I'm as guys as you know very very that's why you see me I always tell you I can't really uh do anything on my head because I suffer a lot man I don't know what is this about but anyways it's not gonna stop me from waking I'm just gonna do this one video I'm sure I'll be fine, okay? Because I see there is a Sonia and, and Matthew Booth story. I don't know, you guys. Are those guys still going through that? Um, <laughs> whatever it is that they're going through. Uh, I don't know what is it about, you guys. Are they still sharing the same home? Uh, what is happening? I remember there were rumors that Matthew Booth now moved in with Wonganim um, Tombeni Mola. I thought it was true. Maybe it was a lie, you guys. Uh, Matthew Booth is now living with uh, 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 Mrs. Smola. Maybe it wasn't true. So, um, I just saw this on uh, uh, Sunday World, okay? And then uh, they said something about Matthew Booth uh, not allowing Sonia to, to do an interview. Kulu uh, about Sherayo, guys. They still share the home together. These guys have been married for 16 years and. Trouble in Paradise last year, as you know, there was a lot that was going on. Uh, Matthew Booth caught cheating with Uwanganim Tombani Mola by U Sonia, uh, who came out here and, you know, exposed the hell out of them. And remember the cheesecake story that U Matthew Booth begged the cheesecake on the day when tomorrow it was going to be his son's birthday. He was busy baking at night when they thought well, the cake was for his son. Since tomorrow is his birthday and he was baking for <laughs> Mrs. Smola. And when they woke up in the morning, the cake was gone to Mrs. Smola. So, we will be you guys by then. Um, yeah. So, here... I saw this from Sunday World when they reported, uh, they said Matthew Booth uh, pulled a plug on Sonia's interview with TV channel. Okay, so Sonia had an interview with the TV channel and it was going to happen in their home and Matthew Booth had to put a stop on that. But anyways, let's just read the story and hear what happened to you guys. So uh, there's a picture here, there of uh, Sonia and, uh, and Matthew Booth and boy. I'm working. Hey, what you want to go out? <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> this child I'm working and he's doing funny. He's Asian. I'm happy I'm looking at Luca Black. Okay, I can't concentrate. But anyways, you guys, so the story goes on. The legendary uh, footballer Matthew Booth barred his wife Sonia and E uh, NCA anchor Anika Larsen from uh, conducting an interview in the estranged couple's marital home in March. Okay, so this despite jointly owning the property after getting married in community of property about 16 years ago. So, but this alleged mistress, Wonganim Tombeni Mola, also demanded to be interviewed by the crew to narrate her side of the story in an effort to dispute Sonia's accusations that she has been having an extra marital affair with uh, the retired foot footy. How did you say football? <laughs> but they wrote footy. Okay. So Larson presents a show called My Guest Tonight with Annika Larson. So uh, the startling tackle was revealed by an ENCA employee who did not want to be identified for fear of uh, reprisal. Okay. Speaking to Sunday World, the employee said Larson secured an interview with Sonia to a... Uh, um, to interview her at their nuptial pet in Eagle Canyon in north of Johannesburg about a cheesecake business. 
<laughs> okay, so this after Matthew Booth has baked a cheesecake for his alleged a concubine uh, to spoil her with his uh, culinary exploits, okay? And then they say, the employees said they had agreed that the interview uh, would be conducted and filmed at Sonia's house so that they could both be comfortable because of the estate's tranquility and the ambience of their posh crib. And then Sonia told Anika that she agreed for the interview to be conducted in the house without asking for Matthew's consent, uh, said the employee. So in an endeavor uh, to correct her mistake, she said she wrote an email to Matthew and informed him about the planned interview. So Matthew turned down Sonia's request to be interviewed in their house, said the employee. Okay. So with a heavy heart, Sonia uh, told Anika that the interview would no longer be in conducted at her house because Matthew said he was not comfortable with strangers invading his privacy, said the employee. <laughs> so the employee said Larson suggested that the interview be conducted at a restaurant uh, in uh, Melrose Arc in the north of Johannesburg as she did not want to cause further drama in her at this um, integrating union. Okay, So I suspect that Matthew thought Anika was going to talk to Sonia about the infidelity uh, allegations and also give Sonia an opportunity to lampoon him about the cheesecake she is baking okay that is why he refused but the interview was purely based on Sonia's business said the employee okay so the employee said uh, Matthew apparently informed him Tom Benimola about Sonia's interview. This because a few days after sneezing uh, at Sonia's request, Tom Benimola's lawyers, Lamprent uh, attorneys, wrote to Lassen on March 7, asking her to also interview the self-professed fitness freak so she could state her side of the story. So in the letter which we have seen, the lawyers raised concern that the interview about the cheesecake business would fuel infidelity speculation that have already caused the untold damage on the reputation of Ntombe Mola, who is married to University of Cape Town employee Crows Mola. So Ntombe Mola is still married to Ubabu Mola, okay? Because the rumors would they move in together, which means they were not true. So... <laughs> well, this is just a lot. Okay, but okay. While cognizant that we cannot dictate to you how to conduct your interview, we do ask that if Mrs. Booth is given to the uh, utterances which detracts uh, from our client's dignity and reputation, you inquire into the facts which uh, underpin her views and her comments. Reads the letter. Specifically, if Mrs. Booth persist with the allegations that our client and Mr. Booth are in a romantic relationship, we ask that you satisfy yourself on the facts that such a relationship exists. A, a position is regulated. So our client's request to you is to be afforded a full right to reply if any matter is a defamatory of our client uh, is imparted to you during your interview with Mrs. Booth. So guys, this is just drama. So they want um, um, Mrs. Mola to Gutibam uh, interview now. If ever they interview Sonia, they must interview uh, Um Tombe Mola. Uh, who said it's going to be about the cheesecake? Who said it's going to be the Mjolo? Because they are saying that the interview was just going to be about Sonia's business. So now when I'm back watching Gutibam Tlambe, since the cheesecake thing, <laughs> you know, it's going to be about the, the methods cheating and him baking the cheesecake for Um Tombe Mola and all that. Like... Honestly speaking, what is this drama about again? Okay, so if the uh, if if this uh, person does an interview, uh, no Sonia, so the lawyers are saying, no, no, get, oh, Mrs. Mola, na anigez we chance, oh, to show his side of the story. About what? About the business, guys, in it because the interview is going about Sonia's business, not about the cheesecake that she was baked by Matthew Booth. Matthew put him denying which interviews with MZ Nwago, but they are saying the interview was just about uh, Sonia's business. 
So Matthew would say no. Usho ko no guti. Eh, he was thinking guti. Iso apart um jolwa ake no 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 too many mola and the cheesecake that he paid and all that story that was going around. Since they share the home, why is Sonia denied now? Good in the interview, like Pano Matthew put at his uncomfortable. But it's your share of Muslim news. You guys win the interview, you guys win the interview like Kai because it's your home and my home. So why was Matthew being so difficult about the interview done in his home at a good comfortable? Someone did go to your home, Joel, but they are saying this was just gonna be about business, Safaela. But anyways, you guys, hey, good morning. It's a lot. <laughs> oh, this is not my headache. I'm going to say hello to you guys because it's even more headache. But anyways, you guys, this is uh, Mithi Booth refusing for Sonia uh, to do an interview. Um, Kuluya Muzwa, okay, also it can you on attack it comfortable because it was going to be about the cheesecake, okay? Which is the cheesecake business that Sonia has, not about the cheesecake that he baked for Luyam Tomini Mola. So anyways, I... It is a lot. Do share your thoughts, you guys. I've got a very, very horrible headache. Share your thoughts on the conversation about Matthew Put and Sonia and Tom and Mola. Everywhere, you see, see, you learn that Matthew Put is everywhere. Are they still together? Tom and Mola and Matthew is Matthew still with Sonia? Who could refer to Han An? What's that long? Like, are they still? It is a lot, but anyways, I'll see the message to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We just speak about what we see online. As I was a squaz, because we are not going to speculate. That's why I'm asking, good. Is me to still with with him too many more? Is is still with Sonia? Gwenzagala and like I'm I'm asking. I'm not you know making any speculations or anything but anyways you share your thoughts in the comment section if you like the video for me please before you can go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed anyways i see you again on my next upload bye